What's going on everybody? It's Pharaoh Black and bringing another review. This time it's of the Four Horsemen Studios Gothotropolis Raven figures. Um, as you see they're both not ravens. The black one is a raven. Uh, but the line is pretty much, you know, as part of the Gothotropolis uh, last year or year before last they gave us Scarabus and now through um, a backing through Kickstarter got them to um, get to the point where they can make raven figures and they're pretty much just bird protectors or whatever I don't know the whole entire story behind them I'm sure bits and pieces will unfold as you get characters and other figures that they're creating and you know this is just the goth the tropolis line now um, here are the two that I have which is the raven and the falcon um, the falcon is Falcus and the Raven, uh, I don't, his name is weird. They gave him a really weird name. Um, I'll just call him the Raven. <laughs> but um, these figures are they are very nice. They're very nice figures. You could only get these figures um, two ways. One, you could, either, you could have either backed the Four Horsemen's Kickstarter, or you could have ordered them from the Four Horsemen's web store uh, called the Store Horsemen. Um, they are definitely worth the money. I think they retailed at like 32 bucks before shipping each. And, you know, they're really nice. Um, they are, they're pretty much a book. It's a book body, recasted, repainted. So all of the figures have the same body from the neck down. They just have different heads, but the sculpts are very nice on the figures. The paintwork, everything, um, is just just so awesome. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Okay, uh, as you see, it's just like a lot of detail, a lot of design. It's, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, let's move him out of the way for a minute if you bring them back like so you can see the uh, tops of like castles and everything and then you have like birds flying over it and then the moon right here or whatever so I'm pretty sure that this city is the Gothotropolis uh, you know it's just really awesome uh, articulation wise for these figures the figures here they move left to right they rock side to side they look up uh, as far as it's going to look down, but I mean, you know, it's pretty good. Um, you have not a lot of armor pieces that do not hinder the articulation. You can pretty much get these guys' arms out. And it's a way, you know, if you mess around with it, you probably can get them off even further than that. But, you know, you get a full range of movement going up. Uh, you have a double jointed elbow. So it's really nice. You have a swivel at the wrist as well as a hinge. Very awesome. Uh, turns at the crunch of the, the um, ab crunch as well as, you know, a nice range of movement there. You also have a swivel at the waist. Um, when you get down to the legs, you're able to move the legs forward all the way forward like that be able to get these figures into a, a uh, splits you have rotation at the top of the thigh you have here a double jointed knee well it's single jointed here and then it's jointed there at the bottom leg as well and then you have the ankle articulation which is have a joint and a swivel so that's pretty much it for these figures um, 
Also through Kickstarter, well not through Kickstarter, um, but on their site, you were able to order wings for these guys. Now the wings were pretty pricey. I think they retailed at uh, about 18 bucks. Um, but what you do is, is when you turn the figure around, you see these little wings on the back. These pop out. Once you pop these out, what you do is you get these holes, these you know little holes for the pegs, and these are the wings. The wings are articulated. Uh, they have a hinge here, and then they are able to open up. Now, you see how my eyes fall down? My wings are a little loose. Yes, they are. Some people have complained about the wings being loose. Some some wings are great. I have a pair for this, um, the Raven, and I have a pair for the Eagle. You look at the Eagle's pair. And um, just plug them into the back right here. Really simple. Once you get those wings in like so, turn them how you want to. Let's use the hinges, and there you go. You you got this nice figure. It looks like a a heroic bird hero. If you could say heroic hero, I don't know if you could say that, but. They're very nice, very nice wings. They're articulated. Like I said, they're they're heavy. That's the major the major problem with my wings here. Now the the ravens are great, but this pair here, I don't know. So what I like to do is I like to bring them back like this and open them up a little bit, and they're pretty decent. But, but um, this figure here, this falcon. His joints aren't loose. They might seem that way because these wings are like extremely heavy. So he just like falls back and everything. But it's, his joints aren't loose. They're just not tight enough to support the weight of the wings. And that's very disappointing. Um, the Falcon here comes with this staff. What you have to do pretty much is you just have to put the tip onto the staff. And it's a nice gold color. You know, it's the generic weapon. All of the um, birds besides the raven comes with one of these staffs. So that's you know has a mace on the bottom. Still a pretty nice weapon. Um, let's get into the weapons for the raven and we can wrap this up. Now this here, this is the weapon for the raven. Uh, it's a short staff with um, it's nicely painted has the silver or the metal looking edges with the gold here with the inscription which it doesn't really say anything I don't know what it's supposed to be but it's an inscription on it and then you have this mace piece with the chain it's a real chain and everything and um, you can have it hooked on to the this little hook wrap it around or whatever but the two pieces you're able to put them together they're going to come apart when you um, get the figure they don't come put together and then you want to take this mace piece here and as I rotate it looking for the oh here it is find that little hole and that's pretty much what you're going to do with it and they hold the weapons pretty good they um they have these notches in their hand you just kind of get the weapon in there and bam holds the weapon without any problems so that's really really nice um also feet they come with several different pairs of feet I have not taken these feet off but they are removable and you are able to swap them out with a pair of feet that can hold the weapon as well or you can have a pair of feet that maybe I don't know if you can arch it onto something or maybe he's picking up another one of the birds or something. I don't really know what this is about, but you get to have the clawed feet as well. And um, I must say, for the amount of money that you pay, these are still very, very great action figures. I, I love these figures. They are they are awesome. Um, I suggest that if you're able to get a, a, a couple of them, pick them up, 
and um, get some wings while you're at it. Bird gotta have wings, right? Uh, that's about it. With that being said, this is Feral Black, and as always, peace and love.